Uh, first off, Nick, just talk about uh, the way this team has been playing recently. What do you think you guys have been doing well? And then what do you guys really need to improve on here Thursday night? Well, I think uh, as far as uh, Saturday night, we finished the game all well. We've been uh, getting some leads in our last about five or six games and not finishing the game off quite well. And we uh, kind of accomplished that on Saturday, and we hope to accomplish that on uh, Thursday night too. As far as this team goes, just talk a little bit about uh, the way you guys have played. You know, Trey stepped up in the past few weeks, gives you guys another guy in the post along with Delvez, and really that's kind of kind of helped balance out this team. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Trey has done a tremendous job of uh, really uh, posting hard, and um, our coaches have uh, made sure we uh, feed him the ball down there. He's doing a great job of finishing. As far as this team goes, uh, you know, North Dakota State's a team that you uh, you beat at their place, which is always hard to do. That's a long trip. Uh, but what do you take away from that game that you can apply this coming week? Uh, really, uh, I thought our coaches did a great job of uh, having us prepared, as they always do. And um, it was kind of up to us to execute the game plan and uh, play a very strong defense because they have a, a great uh, three, three guys that average 15 points so that – you know, we were very prepared for and knew what they were going to do. So it's pretty much about stopping those guys. What's the biggest key this time around now that I, I imagine they've got a little revenge on their mind? What's going to be the key on Thursday? Uh, uh, st- sticking to the game plan and not getting too comfortable. Just uh, keep on attacking on the offensive end and on defensive end, staying solid and uh, playing team defense. Overall, you guys have had, uh, you know, statistically are on pace to have the best season uh, in IPFW Division One history. Uh, has to feel pretty good, a little feather in your hat for that. Uh, what's your uh, What's your take on that? Well, I mean, we've put in so so much hard work, and our coaches have done a great job recruiting, putting together a good team that that, that can accomplish this, and and we've kind of bought in. So I, I think it's just you know, you you reap what you sow. You know. Anything else you like to add, Nick? Nope. Thanks you. Thank you. And come out and see us on Thursday. I think it's just more we're playing more as a team than anything. At the beginning, we were kind of slacking off and trying to do some one-on-one stuff. And I think we've been moving the ball a lot more. And really, the main thing is, other than offensively, I think the defense, we've really stepped up. As far as your team goes, just talk a little bit about the, this game coming up against North Dakota State. You, you got them at their place. Uh, I imagine they're coming in with a little bit of a revenge factor on them. Yeah, I'm sure they are. I'm sure they're coming in saying we need to get them. Plus, they're one, they're half game up on us in the conference. So, it's a big game not only to to show where we think we are in the conference, but also to show that we we can sweep the defending league champs. As far as this game goes, so what did you learn up at their place that you can kind of apply this time around? Uh, I think we just know their their strengths. They got they got three guys that average about 15 points and. We really, what we did up there was we shut those three down the best we could and kind of made the other guys beat us. And when you do that, it kind of, it kind of puts pressure on those other guys. Talk a little bit about the, this team in general because, um, you know, IPFW has never had a winning season since going to Division One, and you guys have a real shot at it. Is that something you guys think about, or is it just something that kind of comes with, uh, you know, playing better basketball? Yeah, you know, it was, a, it was a goal at the beginning of the season, but, you know, now... As as that goal approaches, we kind of start thinking about bigger things. I mean, we that winning season is still in our sights, but we we kind of move on to the goal of trying to win the win the conference tournament and move on that way. How do you feel about the change in mentality? Because you know the the past few years it's been at this point in the season, okay, how many wins do we need to make the conference tournament? Now it's like, okay, how many do we need to get on the top half so we can you know get a better seating? Yeah, exactly. I think that that's something that we we started to realize about early early January, late January. We're like, okay, now we're go, we're going to be in this conference tournament. Normally, normally we're fighting to get in it, but this time we're in it. So let's start trying to to win games and get our best chances so we have the best seed possible at the beginning of the conference tournament. Anything else you like to add, Zach? Uh, nope. <laughs> well, it's been up and down, Glenn. It's it's. Uh... Yeah, I think we've played okay. We just haven't been able to finish the games. We've been in a lot of games. We've been in all the games. I think the main thing is being able to finish them. We've been able to finish one of four. So uh, playing well, uh, yes and no, but being able to finish games is what, what's been our Achilles heel. You know, talking to the guys, uh, they've said that defensively things have started to click a little bit more. Is that how you see it, or you still think there's some improvement there? Well, we've gotten a lot better since the conference started, but... Uh, we still have room to grow. There's no question. We're constantly striving to get better. We've got to have five guys working and clicking together on the floor at the same time. That's something we haven't really had for 40 minutes yet. 
in terms of mentality, it has to kind of be a good feeling because it seems like the past couple of years you guys have been, you know, kind of figuring out how many wins you need to get into the conference tournament. But now it's it's more about okay, how many wins can we get so we get a good seating? Yeah, we've clinched our spot. We're thinking about seating now. Um, you know, we were able to we were able to make our playing tickets a lot sooner this year, uh, heading out to Sioux Falls. I think it's a matter of getting the seed that we want, getting the seed that really gives us a good chance at making a run in the, in the tournament to the tournament final. Talking about North Dakota State, you obviously got them at their place, so um, they're probably coming in with a little revenge factor, wanting to do the same to you. How do you handle that, and what's going to be the key on Thursday? North Dakota State's playing a lot better, but I think again, uh, as we talked about, the defense has to be paramount. We've got to be solid. Uh, we can't make silly plays, silly gambles, and silly fouls. Um, and that's something that, again, we, we've got to play 40 minutes of, of solid five-man team defense. And, and then our bench has to give us some help. You know, they've got about three guys that do the, the bulk of their scoring, about 15 points apiece. Uh, how do you defend that as a team? Because it's not one guy that you can really key on. Well, I'd like to think that... Plackmeyer and Daniels, Yearby, Sneed, those guys can handle uh, their three key guys. And again, we just talk about ma- keeping it simple, making good, playing good, solid defense, not gambling, not trying to be a hero, and just making guys make shots over you. We do that, we'll be fine. Trey's uh, really done a nice job to put himself in position um, to one, play more minutes, and two, become a force in this league and I'm really pleased with the way Trace come along he's gotten better offensively but I think what's what's most what's been uh, uh, best about Trey is that he's rebounding the ball a lot better for us which allows him to play and he's not getting lost on defense or becoming a detriment he's not a detriment on defense which he has been in which he was last year so very pleased with the way Trace come on